All right, so what I'd like to do is show you guys how to um, graph an inverse function and then also determine, uh, determine the inverse of your function. So um, what we're doing is we're given a function f of x equals 1 over x. And what we want to determine from this function is what is the inverse. So if you remember kind of our steps for finding the inverse, the first thing we need to do is um, we're going to want to understand what actually um, our a function is compared to its inverse. So the way that we look at you know, an inverse is if you look at a function, you have a domain and range. Domain is a set of all x values, and the range is a set of all y values. Well, the inverse is, is pretty much that exact same thing, but the domain from a function is that set, whatever your domain is from your function, that exact set is your range of your inverse function. So what is actually happening is your, your domain and ranges are being switched when you go from a function to its inverse. So the one way you can always uh, like to look at that is rather than thinking of f of x, because f of x is your output value for your function, uh, what we want to look at is we want to think of it as a y. And the best way I can explain this is, and the reason why I'm going to use y is because, you know, if you think of like domain and range of on a coordinate point, you have your x and your y. That's for f of x, right? Well, if I was going to look at f inverse of x, what's actually happening is my domain and ranges are being switched and being flipped, okay? So what values were in my range for my function are now the values that are in um, my range of my domain. So to find, the, to find the value of the function, the first thing you need to do is change it from f of x to x, or I'm sorry, f of x to y. And the reason again is it's just gonna make your math a little bit simpler. The next thing is now we need to flip flop our domain and range, or our values. So I get x is equal to one over y. Then from here, to solve for y, I need to first get y off the bottom. So I'm gonna multiply by y on both sides. Therefore, I get yx is equal to 1. Now, to solve for y, I divide by x. Therefore, I get y equals 1 over x. So what you guys can see from this is I have my function. My function has an inverse that's exactly the same. Because we want to make sure we, it, once we change this, you want to put it back as to your inverse. So our function and our inverse are exactly the same. So let's take a look at how this is going to be graphed. Now, I know what these graphs are going to look like, but if you don't know what the graphs look like, a very easy way to do this would just to make a table of values. And when creating a table of values, remember your x is your input and your y is your output. So you're just going to take a value and then plug it in. So I could also could use f of x too or it's f inverse of x, because they're the exact same. So negative two. One over negative two is a negative one half. Negative one over one is a negative one. One over negative one, uh, one half is going to be a negative two. Zero is undefined. This is going to become a two. This is a one, one, and this is one half. So now if I was going to plot these points, so if I go down to negative 2, negative 1 half would be about halfway, negative 1 would be at negative 1, negative 0.5 would be down at 2. 0 is undefined, so I know that my graph is never ever going to touch 0. So I'm going to say my graph is going to look something Like that. Then I look at uh, on my other part of my graph and I say 0 0.5 is to 2, 1 is to 1, and 2 is to 1 half. So again, I'm looking at a graph that is, um, I'm again I'm looking at a graph that is not going to pass my, uh, my 0. So the other thing we talked about with even our functions and its inverses is that they're symmetrical about the xy line. So if I'm going to look at the xy line, or with the x equals y line, some people like say, you got to look at it. Is, the, is this part of the um, graph the exact same if I flipped it over to this graph? And the answer is yes. So therefore, we can determine by graphing that this is a that these functions are inverses of each other. 
obviously they're the same thing. Also that they're symmetrical about the xy line. And then also by doing our math, we're able to determine and see that the function and its inverse are exactly the same.